welcome to Kids Yoga today. Um, so time to go and unroll your yoga mat if you've got one. If you don't, just set up anywhere in the house. You can go outside like we are today. Um, even just put a towel down. Um, and we're going to talk today about feeling a little bit scared or when we're feeling a bit anxious or worried about things and how we can get all those negative thoughts out of our head and feel nice and calm and happy again. So we have got the lovely, can you introduce yourself? Mrs. O. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> and she's my lovely volunteer today to do yoga with me. And if you've never done kids yoga before, please join us. And also mums and dads, you can join us as well. So start by sitting. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing some nice deep breathing. So I want you to sit up nice and tall with your shoulders down and a nice straight back. And see if you can do five big breaths through, in and out through your nostrils. You can have your eyes open or closed. So big breath in, big breath out. Let's do four more. Big breath in, big breath out. Three more. Big breath in, big breath out. Last two. Big breath in, big breath out. One more. Just put one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. And when we do that nice deep breathing, that makes us feel really calm and really happy. Okay. So sometimes, and I'm sure things have been happening at the moment where things are a little bit different. You're doing your schoolwork at home and you're not allowed to go to certain places and that might be making you feel a little bit scared or anxious or a little bit worried. So when you feel like this, sometimes you don't feel very brave and we want to have our brave faces on. And one way we can do that is to be doing dragon breathing. So let's put our hands up underneath our chin and go a big breath in and out like a dragon. And again, big breath in and out. One more. So that's making us feel nice and brave. If we're feeling a little bit worried about things or we're having trouble getting to sleep, we can do our cooling breath. So I want you to imagine you're sucking through the world's smallest straw ever. So a little, um, opening your mouth just a little bit and suck through the world's smallest straw. Then close your mouth and breathe out through your nose. And again, suck through this world's smallest straw. Close your mouth and out through your nose. Let's do one more of these. So if you are feeling like you couldn't get to sleep, you're a little bit worried and you want to feel calm, maybe get mum and dad to help you do that cooling breathing. Okay, let's start warming up our body with our sun salute. So I did this last week. If you haven't done it before, you can join in. We want to be near the top of the mat and arms up and go, hello sun, hello earth. And then look forward. Hello everybody, and then jump or step those feet back into plank. Beautiful. <laughs> you can have your knees down or off and we come down, super strong arms, up like a snake. Down like a dog. Good, look forward, bend the knees, bunny hop. Big arms, big breath in and out. Let's do a couple more of these. Hello sun, hello earth. Straight back, jump back or step. <laughs> and down, up like a snake. Down like a dog, bunny hop, jump forward or step, and big breath in, and down. Let's do one more round. Hello sun, hello earth, straight back, jump or step, knees down or off, and down, up like a snake, down like a dog. Look forward, step or jump, big breath in, all the way up, and down. Great, so now we've warmed up our bodies, and we want to do some balancing poses as well. So if we are feeling a little bit scared or worried throughout the day, it's important to say good thoughts in your head. If you say, I can't do this, or this is too hard, it will be too hard and you won't be able to do it. But if you say, I am brave and I am strong, you can pretty much do anything you set your mind to do. So let's show our muscles and feel strong. I am brave and I am strong. Say it with me. I am brave, I am strong. One more. I am brave and I am strong. Okay. 
Let's put our left foot forward, right foot back. We're gonna have this left knee bending the whole time, okay? And I am strong, I am bold. Lean back and I can reach up high and I can fold. Good, and again, I am strong, I am bold. I can reach up high and I can fold. One more, I am strong, I am bold. I can reach up high and I can fall. This time we're going to add a balance to the end. You ready? I am strong. I am bold. I can reach up high. I can fold, look forward. And I can hold. Let's try to do three of the three breaths here. One, big strong arms. Two, three. For those who want to keep going longer, they can. If you want to go super tricky, you can try and do a standing skip. <laughs> and all the way up. Okay, let's swap it over. Right foot forward. Bend that knee so the knee stays bent. And arms. I am strong. Look up. I am bold. I can reach up high and I can fold. Two more times. I am strong. I am bold. I can reach up high and I can fold. Last time. I am strong. I am bold. I can reach up high. I can fold. This time we add our balance. You ready? I am strong. I am bold. I can reach up high. I can fold. And get your aeroplane arms ready and I can hold. Stay like this. We'll see if you can come down a little bit more. Good, for those who want to be tricky, they can try and bring their hands down. Standing slip, look to the knees. Three, two, and one. Oh, well done, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna go on a little adventure. We're gonna do yoga poses from animals all around the world. So let's start by being on our knees. And this is a little bit like a memory game. I've got all my cards ready of all the animals all around the world and then we're going to try and remember them and see if you can do them right with me nice and quickly at the end. So we're going on a yoga adventure. First of all, we're going to come out of our house and then open the gate. So let's bring that left foot over and open the gate. And again. And open the gate. One more on this side. Open the gate. Good. And then we're going to get into our car. We're going to drive to our far favourite farm. So we're going to get in our car, see if you can do a balance. If you need to, you can put your hands here. Okay, get your car ready. Drive in your car. Maybe one foot makes the car go faster. Lean back. And again, drive. Can we go up a hill? <laughs> can we go down the hill? We're at the farm, so other foot makes the custom. Well done. Okay, so the first animal we see at this farm is the roly-poly bear, okay? <laughs> Might not be the farm that you normally go to. So we're gonna like this and we're gonna rock. The roly-poly bear rocks. Good, and all the way up. <clears throat> and then we see our beautiful cat. So on your hands and knees, and we arch our back like a cat having a stretch. Big look up to your belly button and then roll it down and see the cow go moo. And again, roll it up like the cat having a big stretch. And then pull it down and a big moo. Okay, the next animal we see at the farm is the duck. So see if you can get your feet flat. But just widen your feet a little bit. <laughs> if you can. Okay, and the duck. You might get a quack. <laughs> I'm glad it's you guys and not me today. Okay, and then we see the big doggy. So into dog, down dog. I know you know it, guys know how to do this. So let's walk our dog on the spot. Check your doggy tail. <laughs> and then we see the little puppy. So drop your knees and have a stretch. The puppy having a stretch. Good work. 
Then we see the frogs down by the pond. These frogs like to catch flies. So see if you can go. And let's do our two big ribbit jumps. Ribbit. Ribbit. Good. And then the last animal we see at the farm is the little field mouse. So make yourself really small like a mouse. Okay, it's time now to go to the sea. So to get to the sea, we ride in our bike. So we're gonna do our bike. So on your back, riding our bike. Try not to go like this, make some big circles. See if you can go super fast. Good. Oh, we're going up a hill, so you might need to go a little bit slower. And then again, super fast. And we've made it all the way to the sea. The first animal we see at the sea is Terry the turtle. So feet together, hands in, under, and see if you can pop your head all the way down. I know some of you can do this much better than the adults. So see if you can get your head down to your heels. And then we see our big whale friend in the water. So feet down, hands to the side, and squirt the water out of your belly button. And again, and pop out of the water and we squirt the water out of the belly button. It's time to see all the fishes. So we lie down, we have our hands underneath our bottom. Thumbs together, bring those big toes together and pop up, open up like a fish. Open your throat and then make sure that their head is touching the ground. Let's have a couple breaths here. One more. Great work, guys. And slowly come out. Okay, my favourite animal in the ocean is the dolphin. So let's go on our tummies. Hands behind your back. And we're swimming in the water and up comes the dolphin and down and the dolphin lifts up and down one more this time you can say hello to your dolphin friends <laughs> whatever the noise the dolphins make <laughs> and down okay we can't forget the octopus so on our backs and we shake it out like those octopus with all those legs shake it out Check, check, check. Let's go super slow and super fast. Well done. And then we go onto the shore and we see all the crabs. So put your hands behind your back and lift up. Now crabs are only walk side to side. So you can do a little sideway walk. These crabs like to play soccer. There's so many of them that can play soccer. They're very good at playing soccer games. Well done. Okay, it's time to go to our last country of Africa. To get there, we need to go in our aeroplane. I know you guys know how to do this because you just did this before. Arms up, super strong arms, super strong legs. Make sure you're looking at something to help you balance and fly all the way to Africa. Let's see if we can hold here for another three, two, one, beautiful. We're going to do it on the other leg as well. Big super strong arms and lean forward. Hold here for three, two, and one. The first animal we see in Africa is the ostrich. You can face them if you want. Wide legs. Ostriches like to put their heads in the sand. Now you don't actually have to get your head down to the ground, but we're going to try and bend the elbows and get that head down as far as we can. And then we pop our head out of the sand. Oh, and back down again. That's a really good stretch for those legs as well, guys. Okay, then we see all the crocodiles. So when I tummy. Snap. 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 And then the other hand comes on top. Snap. 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 And because it's so hot in Africa, often we see those crocodiles just here with their towels up, just having a little sunbath and being very, very still. 
Okay, it's time to see some nice big animals down by the waterfall. First of all, the elephant. Elephant's got their big trunks. And we're gonna stretch out and try and eat all those peanuts. And then gobble them up. Stretch out and grab all those peanuts. And gobble them up. And then the elephant's getting a bit hot so it gets water in its trunk. And then squirts it all the way behind its back. And again, in its trunk. And squirts it all the way onto its back. Let's bring those heels in, arms out, and be a cheeky monkey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then straighten the legs and have a swing through the trees. And have a swing through the trees the other way. Good, one more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, uh, uh. And swing through the trees. And again. And lastly, we see the ferocious lion. This is actually a face stretch with the yoga. So we have our hands and knees. And we come down and I'm going to see lots of big tongues. Big breath in. <sighs> big breath in. <sighs> One more. <sighs> well done. We're going to see how quickly we can do all of those in a row. <laughs> Let's see how well you're good at uh, See if you're at home are uh, better at remembering them than me. Are you ready? Okay. So we walk out of our house. We open our gate. We get in our car, <laughs> driving to the farm. <laughs> we see our roly poly bear. We see the pussy cat and cow. And then the ducks. And then the big dogs walking, shaking our tails. And then the little puppies drop your knees and have a stroke. <laughs> and then the frogs catching flies and going through a river drop. And then the little field mouse. Now it's time to ride our bike to the ocean. We're going very, very, very fast. We see the turtles first. And in. Good. Then we see the big whales. Squirt the water out your belly button. Well done. Then the fishes. Feet together, hands underneath your bottom. Then the dolphins. All come out and have a swim. Hands together. Good. Then all the octopuses, doing awesome guys, <laughs> and followed by the crabs, playing soccer. <laughs> okay, time to fly to Africa. How good are you guys remembering all these? And fly, other leg, have a fly, see the ostriches, pop your head in the sun. Then the crocodiles. Snap, snap, snap. Have a sun, sun bag. Then the big elephants. Getting that trunk into the water and squirting over the back. One more of these. And then all the way to the side for the monkeys. And straight in the legs and have a stretch in the trees. And then all the way down, hands and knees, let's be the line. Big breath in, show me your big tongues. One more. Well done, guys. Let's have a little stretch back. Have a few deep breaths here. Okay, so calming up now. And we're going to do some good stretches for people who've been doing, maybe lately you've been doing a lot of bike riding or running or walking around the neighborhood. 
and you want to stretch out all those legs. So let's just do some sports stretches. You've still been practicing your rugby or netball or anything like that, good to still stretch out the body. So nice tall toes, big breath in, and see if you can reach your toes. If you can't quite reach your toes, you can bend your knees. And again, big lift up, and try and touch your toes. One more. Good. So when we stretch our body, that means that we're able to run faster and go a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more easier when we do our sport as well. Okay, so let's bend that right foot and give it a little rock, like rock the baby. Good. Well, who can hold that right foot and stretch it out? Can you feel that tightness through the leg that you're stretching out? Good, and then bring that foot over and we're gonna do a little twist look over that right shoulder. So this is twisting the, getting the stretch through the, the legs but also through the chest and back as well. Okay, let's swap it over. So bringing that left foot in, give it a little rock, nice straight back. And let's stretch it up and bring it across and have a little twist. Good, and then come back and let's stretch our arms as well. So bring our right arm up, hold with the left hand, see if you can stretch it. And then maybe some of you might get your hands together behind your back. You can try and do that. And then bring that right up all the way over. Okay, let's stretch the other side. Left arm. So you can hold the elbow or try and get those hands to touch behind the back. Good, and have another big stretch all the way up. Okay, let's come up. It's nearly time to have a lie down and a relaxation. <laughs> so let's get our five finger breaths and be the buzzy bee. And five breaths. Keep breath in. Keep breath in. So I want you to get nice and relaxed. Maybe you can bring those feet a little bit wider and your arms to your side. You can always maybe put your hands on your belly if you'd like to do that instead. And I want you just to listen to the sound of my voice as you have those eyes closed. So it's important that we always have some time just to switch off. Just be nice and calm. Just be nice and relaxed. So yoga is all about making us feel fit and happy and strong, but also calm in our mind as well. So remember at the beginning of the class today, we talked about things that we can say in our head when we're feeling a little bit scared. Like, I am brave, I am strong. And we did those types of breathing that you can do. So we're gonna add some of those words in a moment. I'm gonna get you to choose your favorite ones and you're gonna add them in your head. And what you say in your head happens in your body as well. So what you think becomes. So first of all, let's have a little relaxation and I'm gonna get you to use your imagination to get relaxed a little bit more. So I'm gonna count from one to 10 and as I get closer to 10, you're gonna feel really light on the mat. It's as if you could just about float off the mat. So maybe you might like to think about a feather floating in the sky or, or floating down or a leaf floating down or maybe even some clouds going past on the blue sky. So start to feel really light, especially as I get closer to 10. One, two, three, four, five, Keep 
want you to start to think about feeling really heavy. So all your body is like melting into the mat, melting into the ground. It's like you're in the middle of a deep sleep. So those who did the class last week, we did hard spaghetti and soft spaghetti. So this is like that floppy spaghetti. You're just so relaxed in your body. So this time maybe you want to imagine you're dropping a little stone into a pond or a lake and it's Really heavy. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So don't come off the floor yet. I want you to think about how you want to feel for the rest of the day. And you're going to say those words in your head. If you want to feel happy, you're going to say, I am happy. If you want to feel strong, I am strong. If you want to feel brave, I am brave. If you want to feel calm, I am calm. If you want to feel funny, you can say, I am funny. So just think about how you want to feel for the rest of the day and say that three times in your head. Get ready to come out. So wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, give yourself a nice big hug of the knees, and then come all the way up. So in yoga, we always like to think about looking after ourselves, but also looking after everybody else. So we're going to say, I look after me, I look after you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> So Ron, don't remember that you can head over to our YouTube channel. We'll post the link in our um, in the comment section of this video. All of Miss Heidi's videos are there for you to watch, plus all of our rhyme and story time. And let's not forget Wally's workout. We'll see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock for Wally's workout. Those of you who are hanging about, we will be over at Playgroup very shortly with Mrs. Bragg at 11.15. Have a great day. Bye.